everyone. How are you doing today? Patricia Evans here. I'm so happy to be back. Uh, God has had me doing so much with my ministry and it's just been a blessing. It's been a blessing. This has been some season of ushering all of the saints into their calling. And for me, mine is evangelizing, dancing through evangelizing. So I'm the Patricia Evans. If you're new to my channel, if you've been watching me and following me, welcome back. Welcome back. I love you so much and I thank you for following me. If you've come through all the different stages of what I've been doing and all the different stages of my calling and you're here landing with me because you're just still supporting me in what I'm doing because you're seeing the truth and righteousness. Or if you are the new subscribers that are the young Christian men that are called to follow the Lord and obey him and whatever God has led you to do. And now you're ready for the Christian wife that God has for you. Well, God has led me to help you with that. I have been doing that for my son and he's been training me in my personal life. I have gotten, done over, you know, thousand um, coaching sessions with women, with, with uh, men, younger men in particular who are looking for their Christian wives. So this channel is dedicated to that today. We've come through a lot in this channel, but that's what we're dedicated to doing today. So I'm looking forward to helping you with that. I am beginning a few series and I'm glad that you're coming to join me. Right now, God is leading me to help you detect if a woman is a narcissist or not. For some reason, God really wants you to be clear on that because we now know that narcissists are prone to being attached to those who are empathic and who are loving. And let's just be honest, for us Christians, narcissists and predators love Christians. And why do they love Christians? Because we're supposed to be kind, because our book teaches us and the Lord teaches us to not take revenge and to not be jealous and to not be evil and then to not to um, be conniving, but to still stand on truth and righteousness and be as, as meek and as innocent of a dove, but as wise as a serpent. Amen. So because we're like that, we're misread. And a lot of times people who have narcissistic traits and who are narcissistic, they think they can take advantage of us because they just think we're dumb. They think we don't know any better. So this is the deal. They're looking for empathic people. So you could be an empathic person that's not a Christian and these messages can still help you. But if you happen to be a Christian, a true Christian living for the Lord, then you will have the empathic spirit of the Holy Spirit living inside of you because the spirits that the, the spirit shows itself in its fruit through the nine fruits of the spirit, love, peace, kindness, goodness, for forgiveness, long suffering, um, self-control, patience. Uh, I hope I've said them all and maybe there's another one, but these are the fruits of the spirit that we exude when we are walking in the spirit and when we show the world that we love the Lord through just being obedient. But these fruits of the spirit, what they're engulfed in is love and, and compassion and empathy. And so because we're striving to obey God and to live like God, we're giving off this beautiful, warm spirit that should attract the right people. And while it's attracting the right person, which I'm so excited it's going to be doing for you because that's what I'm here to do is help you attract the right person. And that right person is someone that has the same fruits of the spirit that you have. But what's happened to many of us is that while we are growing in being more and more like this, and some of us are just born this way, so I'm the highest level empath, the Hayoka empath is what they call that level. Um, so I am the narcissist kryptonite <laughs> because not only do I have that kindness, but I have that firm strength and then I have the Holy Spirit to give me discernment. And what I'm here to do is help you be more like me so that you don't have to go through the things that I've been through. So in my book, Resilient Joy, I've been able to hold on to Jesus Christ and to stay strong and to grow in my empathy and in my Hayoka empathy. Um, being the highest and rarest empathic uh, person born that way, I've been able to go through the trials and tribulations that it, you have to go through to go through what I call from a low level empath to a high level empath. So you could just be born as an empath or you could have empathic abilities naturally or be empathic, meaning that you're naturally able to see things from others' perspective. And that is where everyone strives to be. And even if they don't know it, they should be striving to be because that's like Jesus. That's what he was like. Amen. So if you're going to be more like Jesus every day, even if you weren't born empathic, because you have the Holy Spirit living inside of you, you will build, you will now become empathic. And so either way, if you're born that way, or if you are born that way and Christian, or if you're a Christian that now has become that way, 
we are naturally going to be empathic because now we have a new spirit. But what's happening with that is that we're able to do things others can't do, but we're also attracting people who are attracted to that, that uh, anointing of ours through the Holy Spirit to devour us. So that was one of the most, the biggest surprises that I learned as an empath and as a Christian girl growing up. I never knew someone could be jealous of your anointing. Well, I'm here to help you so that you don't go through the things I went through and that you can, you can dodge these bullets that are coming from narcissistic people. And in particular, for you young men between 25 and 32, as you're looking for your Christian wife to dodge the bullet from the Christian, nar the Christian narcissistic woman. I do believe that a narcissist can become a Christian. That is something I am not going to hold back because God can do anything. But what I do have to say from today, from all that I know, is that if you are truly narcissistic and you've actually gone that far to be clinically been be, be, um, diagnosed as a narcissistic person and have all those deep traits and personality traits, very likely you will not have an easy time having intimate relationships. So I have to tell you right now that I am not for you being with a person that's narcissistic, even if you're a Christian. You can decide on your own without my advice that you want to be with someone who is narcissistic. But on this channel, I protect you from the narcissistic person, whether they're a Christian or not. I will be protecting you from the narcissistic person because your job, my job, and from what God has led me to do for you is to give you peace and joy in a long-term marriage, a marriage that lasts forever um, before the Lord. And so God has not given me peace in that. While on the one hand, a narcissist can be saved, possibly, they can be saved as it pertains to him, them and God. But as it pertains to them and man, I don't believe that anyone should be in an intimate relationship with someone who has been diagnosed as narcissistic. I don't think that that person will be healthy. I don't think that person will be fulfilled. And I don't think that person will be able to have a healthy, joyful marriage and be able to live out their calling the way God meant for them to. There might be somebody called for that ministry, and I pray for that ministry, and I know God can do amazing things in that, but that is not what I believe on this channel. So until God tells me otherwise, maybe one day I'll come up and say, guess what, guys? God has given me a, an anointing to be able to help you with that too. Then sure enough, I'm ready for whatever God wants me to do. But as of today, he's putting me on here to, to tell you to stay away from narcissistic people and even those that God has allowed to come into the family of Christ not in an intimate relationship. Maybe they can lead something and they can do things, but in an intimate relationship and marriage, I do not say that you should be with a narcissist. That being said, we're going to kick off this, this um, series that God is leading me to give you. And it's going to start with a Christian man and the narcissistic woman taking advantage of you. So this video right now is going to be kicking that off. And I will see if God wants to do a part two of this video. So that's all I talk about. But let me just kick it off. And I'm going to let the Holy Spirit speak through me. So I hope that you're blessed. It is time that the body of Christ um, have their own coaches, their own performers, their own teachers, their own ones giving them wisdom. So I am here for the kingdom. Hallelujah. So if you're a young man, you're getting coming into that stage in your life between 25 and 32, and you're looking for your Christian wife, you need guidance, you need support. And what's happening is a lot of times men learn better from women who can tell them the real truth about what it is to be a woman. You can hear it from a woman. So I'm here to teach you this. When it comes down to a Christian man and a narcissistic woman, that's what I believe. I believe that you cannot and should not be in an intimate relationship with a narcissistic woman. We believe that the man is the lead of the household. And if you are the lead of the household, you need to be with a woman that can be submissive to you. A woman with, a narcissist, with narcissistic traits cannot be submissive to anyone, let alone God. A person who is narcissistic very, would have a very hard time even getting coming into the, the, the kingdom of God. Only God can understand that. And I know that God has brought, in, brought people who have narcissistic traits into the fold because when I read the Bible, I can tell you that Paul is definitely one of them. And there are other ones. Um, there are, uh, Nebuchadnezzar, was he one? I don't know. But there are people that God has completely switched around but to become a person that is God's and in the kingdom. But Paul was a eunuch. He did not get married. He did not have an intimate relationship. So if you are a narcissist, 
or you believe that you love someone that is, use Paul as the example of what kind of life they should be living in terms of as it relates to marriage. I don't think that that is something for them. God has another purpose for them. There could be other relationships, but when it comes down to marriage, that is a different one. So I would definitely pray for those desires to come out of your body and just pray for God to send that person that he's anointed to be with you if there was supposed to be a, a marriage for you. God will give them the anointing. God will give them the ability to withstand all that they have to go through being with you. So that is what I think about that. But as a rule of thumb, I believe that when you have a calling for the Lord, in my experience, the devil sends people to devour. He runs to, goes to and fro seeking whom he might devour, especially God's chosen in the kingdom. Many are called, but few are chosen. So if you believe that you are chosen to do a ministry for the Lord that's going to bring souls into the kingdom, you are a target. And in my experience, in my book, Resilient Joy, you should get it. It's in, on Amazon, and it will show you how I made it through all the attacks throughout my life. My book is broken down into four parts. In my childhood to teenagehood, going into college, from my college years, into my married years with my children, and then to my ministry. I had to make it through all of that to be able to do the original ministry, which was a ministry for women, a dance fitness program. And then that led into fully just being everything that God wanted me to be as an evangelist. So today I have finally kicked off my, my ministry as an evangelist as of this weekend. Praise the Lord. We have a Jesus revival in the park going on this summer. So if you want to know more about it, definitely you can email me at patriciaevans1 at gmail.com and I can send you some information so that we can do a Zoom link and I can tell you more about it and, it, and tell you more about how you could be a part of it. And if you want to help me with it, with it in any way and you want to help in any way, please do the same and let me know what part you want to play in that because God is doing amazing things. That's why I haven't been on here for a bit. I've been building the ministry that God wants me to build and been listening to him in prayer on what he wants me to tell you. All right, so let's start off with letting you know that Christian men should not be with a woman that's narcissistic. God is not giving you that as a ministry in general. In general, in Spanish, we call it in general. I am African-American, but I speak Spanish fluently. So no, we are not called to marry unequally yoked. If God gave us the spirit of the Holy Spirit for joy and peace and kindness and to have empathy, we should be with someone that ju is just like us. The devil lies to us to make us think that we can't find that. I found it and it is real. You may not be on the same level in every way, but you are both geared in a way and wired and made in a way to, to please each other and to love one another and to outserve one another. And that's what God wants in marriage. I want to help you find a woman that can follow you and be surrendered to you as you surrender to Jesus Christ in that order so that you can have the, so that you can have the life you want with the Lord and that you deserve in the kingdom and so that you can live out your calling fully and not have to be in the desert for many years because you went with the wrong person and you lost all the things God gave you and now you have to start all over at what 50 something and who knows it's this is the age where the enemy will try to devour you he runs to but runs to and fro to seek who may not devour and I want to leave you with this this is how he does it if you are sewn up and he can't get to you, let me just ask you, who will he get to? Have you ever watched any of those movies with the villains? They try to get to the people that are closest to you. So they're going to get through to your wife or your children, but especially your wife. She is one with you. So if she is not equally yoked and she's not truly saved and if she's not on the same level as you, empathy and loving you and supporting you and doing what she can to support you, that is how the enemy will take you down. If you think that having what I do, having a coach and having someone here to help you with finding the right woman is not very important, well, it's the most important thing in the kingdom for the man. Because look what happened to the whole world because Eve had a woman that was able to be devoured by the devil, be deceived by the devil from the beginning of time. My job here is to keep you from being fooled or being... Um, taken down by the woman as Eve did to Adam. You need a woman that is sealed also, who gets it, who knows this is a spiritual war and knows to stay away from the things that the devil can bring to her to deceive her and to bring you down. But a woman who is looking to bring you down is already 
the devils. So a narcissistic woman is already the devils. So I don't care how beautiful, how sexy, how accomplished, how much she sounds Christian. You need to know the fruit. You need to know her fruit. So stay with me as I do this series and as I pump out these videos that God wants me to give you and just continue to talk to you in these small videos so that you can learn and be in, can, encouraged and built up. Amen. All right. Well, let's start with this one. And I have another a ministry. My ministry is um, something that I do in the parks where I do um, Jesus revival in the parks in the summer. And God's going to have me do it also in the fall. But if you want to be a part of the ministry that I do weekly, it's on JOY Party TV with Patricia Evans here on YouTube and also on my Instagram, Patricia Evans Official. I also have some things I post, some of these clips on here that like these that I do here on my TikTok, Patricia Evans. Please join me on Joy Party TV with Patricia Evans. If you want to be on in my course and you want me to help you run one-on-one -on -one and you want to get your free consultation where I do get some coaching in there, you do get some tips on some things you might be dealing with right now, you can go ahead and you can click on my Calendly link and we can set up a Zoom call so that we can set that up as well. But definitely join me on Joy Party TV with Patricia Evans. I can't wait for you to see what we talk about in general, where I read the scripture and spirit led and you just get so much food from the Bible. Amen. And if you want to sow a seed, that is the best place to do that. Or you could do it here as well. Um, my, I'll definitely put that in here, a way to do that. But you do not have to do that. All you have to do is just be blessed. Amen. So I look forward to talking to you in the next video. God bless you. See you soon.